I'm sure that if you've been looking into careers that involve a lot of math, that you've come across both of these. You've come across an actuarial career and a career as an accountant. And honestly, it can be kind of difficult to understand exactly what the differences are between these two careers. They're both awesome. And today we're going to look into the four main differences so that you can finally decide which one would be better for you. Hi there, Bria here from Edge Actuarial. And in today's video, I'm talking all about the four main differences between an actuary and an accountant. We're going to cover what types of work they do, the salaries that they get, the educational requirements, and the employment opportunities. So if this is something that you are interested in, make sure you stay tuned to the very end. First of all, let's talk about the types of work that these two different or that people in these two different careers will do. The primary difference between an actuary and an accountant is that actuaries are looking into the future. They are trying to predict what is going to happen in the future and put some sort of financial dollar amount on events that are going to happen in the future. Whereas an accountant, they are looking in the past. They're looking at things that have already happened. And that's really the main differences in the work that they do. Actuaries are predicting the future. Accountants are looking at what has happened in the past and trying to make sense of all that. Since accountants are looking at what has already happened in the past, it's it tends to be easier for people to understand what they're talking about. It's it's an easier career to comprehend. It's easy for someone to say, okay, if this company spent, let's say $100,000 in expenses, we can break that down into money that went towards marketing, money that went towards administrative expenses and money that went towards salary, et cetera. That's easy for someone to understand. But when you start talking about actuarial work and predicting numbers and financial impacts of stuff that's going to happen in the future, people just don't understand it. So it really is something that you're going to run into if you go into the actuarial career. You're going to have a lot of people that do not understand what you do or how you do it, but some of them will pretend to. <laughs> anyway, that's the main differences in their work. If you're thinking about what types of things you might be doing, well, an accountant will be doing things like payroll, doing all the payroll requirements. They might be involved with company audits. They might be involved with preparing financial statements like an income statement or a balance sheet. And they might be involved in determining the taxes that a company needs to pay. An actuary doesn't do that stuff. They're involved with creating things like insurance products that will help create solutions to mitigate risk in, in people's lives and for companies and stuff. They're creating these unique insurance policies and stuff like that so that we can help people mitigate risk. They're also involved in making sure that the company has enough money right now so that we can pay any claims that come into the future. As an actuary and an insurance company, we've made promises to people that we will pay for certain costs when they occur in the future. And we as actuaries have to make sure that we have enough money right now in order to do that in the future, like we promised. So those are some of the duties that you could expect to do in either career. And actually, in real life, it's common for, especially in insurance companies, for actuaries and accountants to be working together. I worked in actuarial positions for many years, and I was probably talking to the accounting department at least three or four times per week. So it's a very common occurrence. Now let's look at the educational requirements between, or the differences between these two different careers. So they actually have some similarities as well. Both of them do require that you get some sort of bachelor's degree. So I've talked about this before, right down below in the description, I will link to a post that talks about the types of majors or degrees that someone could get if they're interested in going into the actuarial career. But really, it doesn't matter. And the same is somewhat true for accounting careers. The degree doesn't matter so much because both of these careers have exams that you have to pass in order to become fully qualified. And that tends to be what sets people apart. 
So for actuaries, there are 10 exams that you have to pass in order to be fully qualified. And I'm talking about someone that's planning to work in Canada or the US here. Plus, there are some other modules and online courses that you have to take too. An accountant, on the other hand, they only have two exams that they have to pass, but the first exam is kind of split into four different sections. And by the way, I'm talking about a CPA designation here. Most people get this designation when they want to be an accountant. It stands for Chartered Professional Accountant. And like I said, there are two exams. These, the first exam is kind of broken down into four sections, each of which consists of a four hour exam itself. So you're, you're doing four exams in one just to get one exam passed. But then there's also another one, which is a bit easier. It's all around the ethics and stuff involved. So no matter which career you go into, you're going to end up taking lots of exams. Uh, usually for the accounting exams, it takes about one and a half to two years to complete the exam requirements. For actuaries, it can take anywhere from five to 10 years. So there's a lot bigger commitment if you decide to go into an actuarial career. However, both of these careers will allow you to start working in the field before you've actually become fully qualified. So that's a really big bonus. You can start working before you've done all these exams. And also both of these careers will require you to do some CPD afterwards, and that stands for Continued Professional Development. So what that means is that after you've become fully qualified, there's going to be courses and different things that you have to do to continue to stay up to date with, with what is going on in your industry. Now it's time to talk about salary. So both of these different careers are going to be impacted, of course, by the geographical location that you're working in, the specific company you're working in, the specific responsibilities that you have, and the prior experience and skills that you bring to the table. So every position has those differences in terms of salary. But generally, actuaries have a higher salary than accountants, just because of the specialized nature of their work and all the exams that they have to do. The exams that we talked about earlier, I'm sure the, I have never personally taken the accounting exams, but I'm sure they're not easy. Whereas the actuarial exams, they're very, very difficult. So because of that, people expect a higher salary in the actuarial field, and that's what they get. So as an entry-level actuary with about three exams passed, you're probably going to make somewhere around sixty dollars to $70,000 per year. This will increase as you advance in your career, get more experience, pass more exams, and all that stuff. Once you're fully qualified and you've got several years of experience and you've been working hard, you have a really good understanding of insurance and how it all works, then you're going to see your salary increase and increase and increase. And there are lots of actuaries out there making $250,000 per year annually. So there's a huge opportunity for growth in terms of your salary for the actuarial career. Actually, if you're interested, I have another video all about actuarial salaries. I'll put that in the description down below, so go check that out. For CPAs with about two years of experience, you're looking at about sixty to $70,000 per year. But then someone that has got a lot of experience, has been working in accounting positions for many, many years and has a lot of built up knowledge, would probably expect to be making somewhere around $100,000 per year. So as you can see, there's just not as much salary growth in the accounting career as there is for an actuarial career. <music> Lastly, let's talk about employment opportunities. So actuaries are very, very specialized in what they do, and they commonly work in insurance companies. They can also work in different places like investment banking, pension consulting firms, and the government maybe. Really, any company that has some level of risk that it wants to manage will probably need an actuary. Whereas accounting jobs are basically everywhere. Every company needs an accountant. So there's just a lot more jobs available for accountants than there are for actuaries. Now, because there are so fewer jobs in the actuarial field, that makes it a lot more competitive. There are a lot of people looking for actuarial jobs, but 
since there's just not many of them, it means that employers can be more picky about who they hire. They have really high standards. So that's another thing to consider when you're going into the actuarial career is just that there's really no guarantees. Of course, there is a program that I have that can help you. It's called the Actuary Accelerator Community. And in that program, I show you exactly what to do step by step so that you can be a really good candidate for actuarial positions, even though there's a lot of competition. But still, there's no guarantee. The actuarial market is competitive, so you might end up having an easier time finding a job as an accountant. So which of these two careers do you choose, accountant or actuary? One here is not better than the other. It really depends on what you want for your future. Since there are so many similarities between an actuarial career and an accounting career, I truly believe that someone would be just as happy and just as content in their position being in either one of them. So really what it comes down to here is do you want to spend all the extra time studying for exams to have the potential to make a lot more money? Or do you want to just get exams done in about one and a half to two years and be still making a really good salary? That's probably the number one consideration that you'll have to make when you're deciding between these two careers. If you have any questions, I have some other videos that can help you with this. So I recorded a video all about actuarial salary that I talked about a little bit earlier. I'll link to that down in the description below. And also, if you wanna know more about actuarial exams and what to expect, how long they'll take you, all that kind of stuff, I'll put another video down below in the description so you can learn all about that. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. I'd love to answer them for you and bring some more clarity for you. All right, that is all. See you in the next video. Bye for now.